Okay. I've never done one of these before, but here goes. Here's an interesting pen I got uh, from Noodlers. Okay. Standard Noodlers box. I went to the Boston Pen Show and these weren't available yet. Nathan hadn't received them, but uh, he has gotten the sh small shipment in and I was able to get a couple. So this is the Boston Safety Pen from Noodlers Inc. I haven't... I filled it once so far with legal lapis and it worked like a charm. And I'm about to try one of the original inks that it was designed for. So you can see there's no ink. If there was ink, it would be all over the table. This pen, if you're not careful with it, has disaster written. If you loan this pen to somebody, they're going to spill ink on themselves. So it pushes up. Voila. No ink. Nib. And the nib is a little bit of a, looks like a smaller nib than is normal for noodlers. I don't know if this will focus. If I can get into manual mode with this thing, I can't. And will it focus up this close? No. Anyway, it's a standard noodlers nib. It has a lot of flex inside of it. This is a very flexy nib. In fact, here is my uh, first try with legal lapis in the pen and uh, it has a lot of line variation and it also writes under its own weight this nib is very very nice you can just sort of tap on the on the page and away the ink goes and if you push down this nib gets so wet because it gets dipped inside the ink along with the flutes in the, uh, not sure if you can see the flutes, the flutes there in the ebonite feed, which the pen is made of entire ebonite. It's 100% ebonite and uh, has to do with the type of inks Nathan designed into this thing. But uh, as to why it's all ebonite, I guess. Uh, anyway, it uh, can put a lot of ink down on the paper without railroading. As you can see here, I uh, was giving a couple of wipe tests here. Um, but uh, anyway, this is legal lapis, not exactly the uh, ink it was designed for. But it still worked well, and it didn't leak. It doesn't leak when you close it up and put the cap on. But watch out when you take the cap off. Even when you push the nib forward, which is its mechanism here, you uh, take the, the barrel section here and you can see the, you can cap the pen. You can even bring the pen out here and cap it because inside I uh, have a light here. Let's see. Inside here, there is a, uh, a shiny bit right there is a post. And that post pushes back on a flat section of the nib here. Oh, my white balance went to crud. And uh, let's see if I can get my white balance back. Uh, okay. And uh, so you can push in, as you can see, this pen as I do it. It will push back against the uh, this section here and push it back. It holds. Here's a uh, Swiss Army knife. So I don't have a method of measuring volume, but this appears to be very close to a. Uh, sort of two international cartridges, I would say. 
is what this whole this is uh, just a random eyedropper that I have here uh, these are the inks that it was designed for they were for ten dollars you got this at the Boston Pen Show in a uh, very nice um, dip pen holder with a couple of t nibs so this is the uh, as you can see I've written on it not for fountain pens and this is because this ink is not designed to be in a regular fountain pen it has different drying agents in it and it will I imagine clog a fountain pen but they he says that it washes out with water I imagine as long as it isn't cured I'm not sure I haven't tested the permanence of all this stuff but it's for dip pens and or safety pens only so that's one color and Nathan came up with four different colors I want to try the blue if I can find it blue he has very clever names for him what is this one these are the Committee of Safety inks. I'll leave you to go into his website or his YouTube channel and take a look as to the history of all of that. But here is Bunker Hill with his little fish thing. Um, so it's a very nice pen. Nib on it is very, very smooth. It's your standard, or I see your sub sized noodler's nib. I should have had a noodler's pen here to contrast it, but I'm sure you have one to uh, contrast. So here is a little centimeter job, and it looks like, what is it, there's two, I don't know, a number one, two, maybe a number five or a six, maybe a five, five or a six nib maybe? something like that. Here is a Sharpie for comparison. If you have your Sharpie out, it covers the AP signal, AP design on a Sharpie, this little thing. It's about that wide. A little bit bigger than the Sharpie Sharpie. Doesn't matter. I'm sure they'll be in stores soon enough. Uh, it's a well-made pen. Like I said, it's all ebonite. Um, it has seals up here, so when you pouring it forward, I like I give it a little twist just to make sure it's seated, and then supposedly it's not supposed to drip. But I've yet to put any real ink in this thing, so let's give it a shot. Shake up the pen ink here a little bit can't see but uh, give it a little tap 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 I'll bring this back up <clears throat> all right so let's see what this thing does open this up usually he fills these things to the very brim and this is no difference not sure if you can see the sheen of the blue. It is a very intense blue ink. He wasn't sure if he was going to make any more of these. I learned that after the Boston Pen Show, these inks. So that's why I uh, bought some more. Bought the big bottles. Asked them to buy the big bottles. and uh, Anyway, so what you don't want to do is overfill this thing. Uh, you do, you stick an eyedropper in here. I shove it in all the way. You really can't see, but uh, I'm squeezing. Squeeze. Oops. I'm gonna get this out. Oops. Out of the frame. I found that one eyedropper full is about it. Any more, and you're asking for trouble. So, where can I put this thing? These are like time. These are like bombs waiting to go off here. All right. So this looks like it is full of, full of enough of ink. How's that? Take this out of the way. Tapping the bottom of it just to seep the ink into the pen. 
and if I push the pen forward like this, oops, really can't see, right? So if I very carefully push the pen foot, oh, see there's a lot of ink, I overfilled it. I definitely overfilled this. So let me push it forward, right up, okay. No, I didn't really overfill it. I'm just running out of the picture frame. So that's a, uh, I, I, my, own, my camera, my setup here is rather haphazard. And so here's what you wind up with when you pull it out, though you can't really see it, can you? All right, don't want to make too big a mess here. Um, what you wind up with is a nib that is covered with ink, a lot of ink here, and does not, spill out does not spill out at all okay now in terms of writing um, this is going to be difficult if I get it up here um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe I can do this go on location uh, so if I take this here and try to write with it you see oops you don't see there you go now you can see this thing writes every time. If I just let the pen rest under its own weight, I'm not touching. Oops, I'm not touching at all under its own weight. This is its own weight. And if I want to put down, where am I going? If I want to put down a lot of ink, boom. See that? See that? That's a lot of ink. If I'm pressing down rather hard. This thing is not railroading at all. And it's very, the ink, you have to forgive my setup here. This is a, let's see, the ink there is rather shiny. You can see the little sheen across the, um, the ink. That was true in Nathan's video and also true here. It, uh, I don't know about the permanence again of the ink. Uh, the um, it writes rather it's a very very nice writer and partly because this thing is just covered with ink right the ink the nib it's definitely has a maybe a special purpose I don't know uh, you'd have to be very careful about this in uh, with using this pen this is definitely not a fountain pen for a um, first timer that doesn't want to get full of ink if they want to have ink on their uh, they're not afraid of getting ink on their fingers which I think I must have here somewhere from this. Anyway, this is a uh, turn the page here. Uh, what do they do? The quick brown fox. Crazy dog, something like that. Oh, you know what? Yep. I suppose I did get the most slightest tiny bit of railroading there. But I think that has to do with the viscosity of the ink. This ink is extremely viscous. Uh, if you try it with if you try it with um, standard fountain pen ink, which is mostly how I may use this, I don't know. All depends what uh, what I do with this pen. Don't really know. As you can see, you can get quite a bit of 
line variation here out of this pen and that skip was because of me. that skip there was because of me I came off the table and my writing is horrid so somebody who really knew what they were doing would enjoy this pen immensely okay so that's I'm running at 15 minutes here this may be my limit that's my first run of the Boston Noodles. Oh, so hang on a sec. Let me see if it leaks. So what you do is you take this thing and you push it down like that. Okay, you don't have to spin it. Just push it down. Take the cap. Spin the cap on. <laughs> Make sure it's normal tight. And then... Doesn't leak doesn't leak. Okay. Prior dots. Before I open it, I give it a tap just to make sure that there isn't some sort of surface tension bubble at the top. And no ink there. And then I'm pushing the barrel section here up. And out comes this. I give it a little twist. I'm tapping on the back here and you have an ink nib that is bathed in ink there is no way this thing is not gonna write this thing is one primed puppy full of ink <laughs> ready to go on page at your demand so here I'm just oops that didn't write did it there we go holding it sideways, not really up and down. So here, here's a good writing sample. There's thin line, trying to get a thin line, and here's a thick line. Thick, thin, thick, thin. I don't know, I think he's, whoops, don't want to get any misunderstandings there. So, I think he was, uh, he did a, a fantastic job. I, I think that this is a great pen. I, so, from one pen liker to another is my first review of a pen ever. And, oh, by the way, it says Boston Safety Pen Noodlers Ink Company here on the barrel. Yeah, I'll just sort of push it back get this back on see if I can sh get this thing to show up Boston Safety Noodlers Inc. company and then it's under here it's under the cap let's see oh and one other thing it has threads up here that are super smooth I like that there's, you, you don't run into any kind of a bite here with the uh, threads at the top. They're very smooth. And there's no ink here. There's ink, as you can see, in there. You can see where the ink inks up, right? And the ink, the, the, the actual nib here, if I push it out a little bit, here is the ink. You can see it just gets bathed in a ton of ink. So, pushing it back here, like this. There goes my uh, white balance again. Let's see if I can get it back. Running up to 20 minutes. I don't know if my battery's going to last. But anyway, I like it. I like the ink. Did it dry by now? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, the ink is dry. I'm not a fan of getting my uh, hands full of ink. So that was, I don't know, a couple of minutes ago maybe I wrote on it, wrote with it. And maybe right there, there's a little bit of uh, still wetness. But it doesn't have a sheen to it when it dries. Uh, the sheen goes away and what you're left with is a deep blue. Uh, my color balance is not the perfect, but this is 
a Rhodia standard kind of notebook, so I'm sure you know what that's like, what color it is. So if you want to compare, you'd have to uh, use your eyes and make believe. <laughs> but uh, anyway, good pen. It's a good product. It's a great product. An, an inventive guy, a local guy, as you can hear my planes here coming out of Boston. And uh, the pen just barely fits inside of a noodler's pen box. So if you want to know how big it is, well, here's a, like I said, here's a standard. If you want to judge the pen on size, here's a standard noodler's box. And it just barely fits inside the box. See, this is a mini champ if you want to uh, judge the size of the side of the pen. Go for it. Get your scales out. <laughs> I don't have a, uh, well actually, I do have. Where is it? Hang on a sec. I lied. Where is my set of calipers? I can't pause this thing. If I can't find it quickly. All right, never mind. It's as big as a, it's as big as a pen box is, okay? You're gonna have to go with that. All right, bye-bye.